A lot of people ask me the question, is mining sunrise or sunset? We have incredible capability. But in fact, let's, let's define South Africa a bit as a paradox wrapped inside an, an enigma. We've got this country which has this most incredible capacity, but we just seem to spend a lot of our time disabling that capacity. If I look at it, our significant mineral resource endowment, I've listed a couple of minerals, it's not exhausted, but I think the geological prospectivity is fantastic. Only 15% of South Africa's surface area has been mapped at a high resolution 50,000 to 1 geophysical level. And you know, the world of geology has changed a lot in the last 20 years. The people that find the deposits these days are the mathematicians and statisticians who sit in little offices looking at the geological abnormalities using algorithms to do so, and then send the geologists to go and find the deposit. That compares to 20 years ago where it was the typical geologist, hands-on geologist type work. So I make the comment that that's quite important. But we've got an incredibly world-class mining sector. We've got business capability that is hard to uh, deny at a global level. Uh, we've got a committed and patriotic business sector. This sector really matters for this country and wants to see South Africa succeed. We've got significant research development and innovation capacity. We've got a, a pipeline of skills. You know, In Queensland, I spent a bit of time in Queensland, they don't actually have mining engineering being offered at any of the universities anymore in Queensland. We've got a surplus of mining engineers coming out of our universities that we can't employ because we're not growing our sector fast enough. And we should be doing something about that. We've done a lot of work working with government on how we get a more world-class cadastral system in place uh, and how we start getting a better exploration plan in place. And uh, we are making progress. It's been a little bit frustrating from the pace of the progress, but we certainly, it's not due to a lack of effort. The Minerals Council position remains very clear. Buy an off-the-shelf new cadastral system. We've got two world-class cadastral system companies that operate in South Africa. You don't have to develop a brand new bespoke system that will take you three years to get operational. We're talking about a off-the-shelf system that will probably take six months to properly implement to basically iron out a few of the edges and get working. And then you've got to start looking at it. It's not just about the cadastral system. You want a transparent cadastral system that gives you all the pre-competitive geological information. You also want a licensing system linked to that cadastral system that works on much shorter timelines and which enables full transparency of the system. I mean, how many mining companies ask me, Roger, I applied two years ago for a prospecting right and I'm still waiting. Um, and we have to go and look at it. Oh, no, when the DMRE responds on that particular one, no, sorry, uh, your application was lost or it was given to someone else. Now, when you've got full transparency, um, you can make a lot of progress. And at least the DMRE has admitted that SAMRAD is dysfunctional. So can we see um, an off-the-shelf system being procured? That's something which we are really pushing for from our side.